Hey there, leeches and mosses. Welcome to my knife lab. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Tucson 138. This particular model has micarta on the show side. It's my third Tucson with micarta. It's really light brown and uh, very refined, very smooth. So it's a nice, it's like very... Yeah, it's hard to explain. You'll just have to get one. Titanium on the other side with some nice milling. Great pocket clip. Tip-up carry only. Uh, we got the pivot collar. Hardened uh, steel uh, lock bar liner. And two lanyard holes. Do have a backspacer. No jimping on that. Do have jimping on the flipper tab. It's a pointy flipper tab, but it is small. We do also have thumb studs, and they are large. So I prefer the flipper tab deployment with this. Flicks out nicely. Uh, I got this one yesterday, cleaned it up, and it's working good. Uh, the thumb stud deployment for me, a little bit difficult, a little bit difficult, despite the size of those kind of hard to get behind them because of where they sit when it comes down here you know there's no room between the scale and the thumb stud I'm not a flipper tab or finger flicker uh, I've seen it done and people love to do it with this one blade stop pin in there t8 hardware this is Morning, no, this is a Wong design. D2 blade. I know they make a uh, M390 with titanium handle all the way around. Uh, there's your billboarding. Definitely, uh, I'm going to call this a worn cliff. Kind of a modified sheep foot kind of a thing. Uh, when you compare this to the other knife I have, the CKRT pillar, this thing is miles above that. We got D2 steel, which I know you can get, but just looks and ergos, uh, I'm loving it. Action. And I forget what the pillar runs in, and I think you get pretty base model for 40 bucks, and they might range up to about 50, and that's about what I paid for this on Amazon. So, see if you can still get them. They're available on eBay. And, oh, by the way, uh, it's called the Dracula, so check it out. All right, guys. Thanks now.